<gasps> oh shit, y'all. Oh my god, y'all. Lauren. It's Lauren. Oh, she is. Oh, she's seen it. She's seen it. Hold on. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Hello y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are not caught up on the series, I'm about to spoil. We're about to spoil. So go ahead and click this, this button right here, that one, and watch the old video. Y'all know we're playing University Days. I'm like, so I'm gonna keep it true. I'm gonna keep it cute in the comments. I knew that it was going to be a little unhinged. I did that on purpose. It's University days. If y'all ever been to college, y'all know college is a little bit unhinged when it comes to relationships. I did not expect that my main character was going to obliterate us like this. Like what? This man is insane. He is averaging two bodies an episode. We're gonna keep with the drama in the tea and keep it rolling and unfolding. I don't know what's about to happen, y'all. If this is triggering for anybody, I truly and sincerely apologize. Let's get to this episode. Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment if you have comments. For real, comment as we go. Like if y'all got stuff to say, say it. I wanna know what y'all are thinking because I be thinking a lot. And I'm like, am I tripping? Help your girl validate her thoughts, please. Okay, and let's get into this video. We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I had to switch over. I had to switch over to see what happened with Lauren because she was looking sad. Okay, it says that she's uncomfortable for too many Sims, cozy fire, trusting the universe. Okay, it looks like she's fine. Okay, they look fine. Okay, ooh, I got so nervous. I thought she saw them. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go back to Chris now. I'm gonna switch back. Okay, so Chris is dancing upstairs. Um, Lauren is down here. I'm gonna have him call Lauren over. Y'all, Javon and Anaya are smashing. What? You're lying. No, they're not. Ah! Ah! Anaya is getting her back broke on the cement, y'all. She getting her back broke. <laughs> okay, why is Lauren leaving though? Lauren, come back, come back. I need to talk to you. Can I turn this down? Gosh, it's loud. Okay, so she looks happier now. <laughs> um, No, y'all. Oh. Can I join? <gasps> y'all, Keon wants to join. Um. No, 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 that's too much. It's too fast. It's too fast. Yo, look at them. No, what the hell? From oh, no, can of going narble. And then I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna tell Lauren bye, friendly goodbye. And we're gonna go home. Apollo Crezzo. And Keon to needs to take his ass home too, cause he over here flirting with Desiree and Chris. He saw Chris trying to get at Desiree all oh, night. He, he saw it. <laughs> he saw it with his own two eyes. Like. Okay, so both Keon and Chris have made it back home from the 4040 Club, and Chris is um, about to work on his turn paper and then Keon need to do his homework. So he need to pop, hop on, pop his ass off of that. And they're both gonna just get into their coursework. It's Monday, so they need to. Um, Chris just got through getting some cheeks. So he gonna have to shower after he's done with his paper. <laughs> but y'all, every episode so far, Chris has gotten cheeks. Like every, ep I swear to God, I have not played this man. I can honestly say he he won't go a full two days without doing nothing, even if I'm not recording. So, 
Just so y'all know what it's like to play with Mr. Christopher Dyson. Y'all let me know. If y'all want my sim, if you want him in the gallery and y'all want to play with his freaky ass, I will put him in the gallery and y'all can slut him out. Because he, he with the action. He really with the action. He is. He want, He's one of those sims for sure. So if you need one of them in your game, let me know. I got one. I don't found y'all one. <laughs> but he's editing his turn paper right now. Um, like I said, he has a turn paper and then he has to do his homework, which he's already completed. So he's about to breeze through this semester. He has practice in 11 hours and he needs to study for, um, study his game plays. His game is on Friday, so it's Monday. So he'll be practicing all week for his Friday game. And if y'all remember for his, um, one of his tasks is that he needs to win a soccer game. So Chris is going to, um, have to try his best to win a game. Yeah, he wants to play football with Jaleesa. Of course he does. So, is everybody doing work? Jaleesa, where you at? You watching TV and shit. Did you do your coursework? You got hella homework. Go do your homework. And then go pee. Jabari. No. Where's your homework? I know you got homework. Yeah, do your homework. Keon is already doing his homework and Chris is working on something. What about Jason? Jason? Jason, I know you got a class, right? Let's do your homework. Oh, and then he has to work on his presentation. That's where I remember that. Is it good? Hell no. All right, we're working on that. So that's what the guys are doing today. They're they're working on their classes. Um, I do think it's interesting to read his bus right now. So he's still feeling fearless. He's feeling, he says, totally digging me from the exchanging of numbers with Desiree. And he's, he has a happy sentiment from public service, from satisfying sex. Possibility of anyone being able to walk in on Christopher and his partner made that intimate encounter in a public place much more exciting. <laughs> they was fucking on the couch at the club, y'all. They was fucking on the couch at the club. I'm not, like, I'm not even making that up. They was fucking on the couch at the club. Like, couch at the club. Like, I don't, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to hit up Desiree today, though. Um, cause he needs to take somebody out on a date and I want him to take her out. So we're going to take Desiree out on a date. We're going to ask her if she would go out with us. Oh, let's see. We got to do it on the phone. Um, his last date he went on, he ended up getting cheeks. <laughs> so I don't, I feel like Desiree is a much classier girl. I don't know if she's going to go for just like cheek clapping. And he doesn't, Chris doesn't necessarily need to smash nobody. He just needs to be in relationships with girls. So I feel like it's okay if he likes somebody that he's not smashing. But yeah, that's going to be a good look scenario. Okay, so um, he is here with um, Desiree. And I don't know much about Desiree, honestly, y'all. So we're going to learn a lot about her today. But let him, let's just do... An embrace just to say hi oh. to her. You know, it would be awkward not to hug her. But she's a cute girl. Like, she's cute. I think this is a good look for him. And I know what kind of girls that be flirting. Oh, she's flirting with him. Oh, she like Chris, too. <laughs> okay, let's get a table. So I'm thinking nothing outside is going to work because it's raining today in um, Semashuno. So let's get this table over here. So I'll request the table. The, pl the thing I like about this place is that it has multiple seating. So you can sit outside, you can sit inside, but it also has shops that you can shop around in after you're done eating. And there's a bar. So I actually really like La Cantera. I think it's a real cute venue. Again, y'all, let me know. I make my own venues and stuff. So let me know if y'all want my venue on the gallery. I will drop it on there for you. You can find me on the gallery at Flossy Sean. No underscores, just Flossy Sean. I'm on the um, EA gallery. But we're getting a table, so let's get that. I don't know. I mean, I, the chance that Lauren can walk up in here is 50-50. So as long as we're not like she doesn't walk in and we're like doing flirt we're flirting or whatever, we'll be okay. But this place is like a little brunch spot, by the way, y'all. So that's why it's like the menu is like that. But it's eleven thirty in the morning, so not him having a drink on him, y'all. Did y'all see Chris pull the drink out? I know y'all saw that. Okay. So 
I'm gonna have him um, flirt. I'm gonna have him do a bold pickup line. And I have to do it from this wow. angle. I gotta watch the door, y'all. <laughs> I gotta see who coming in. So let's see. Friendly. Let's do deep thoughts. Let's do um, some deep conversation. Um, let's do friendly. Let's do gossip. Doba Harfin. What's your name? Sepsitol. Romance. Let's do flirt. Oh, 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 tell a, tell your date a story. It's a funny story. And then let's see if we can find another story. Story. Talk about past part. I wonder if that... Okay, here comes our food. <laughs> Okay, so we do need to socialize about the meal. So once they start eating, I'm gonna have them talking about the meal. But Chris got the French toast, um, and he got a hot chocolate, and then Desiree has um, eggs and toast with a lemonade. So I'm gonna do, I think it's small talk, and we can talk about the food. Hold on, let me pause it. I think I'm gonna miss it. Um, friendly, maybe it is interests. Yeah, discuss food flavors, and then let's just do one more. I think he talked about the same thing twice in a row. Give your give them a massage. No, I wanna kiss her. Let's have a magical first kiss. Oh my god, Chris asked her for sex, y'all. Oh my God, I said that he didn't have to smash and he doesn't have to smash. He doesn't, he doesn't, he came in this store. Where are they going? Oh my God, where are they going? Christopher's sentiment about Desiree, opposites attract. Opposites attract, Christopher has romantic feelings for Desiree even though they are very different Sims. Chris got practice in an hour. Oh shit, Chris, you gotta wrap this up, baby. Oh, they just finished. Okay. I was gonna say, you gotta wrap this up because, wait, what does she want? She wanna chat. Cause you got practice in 52 minutes. Nah, y'all, Desiree, Desiree really feeling Chris. She is. Ain't nobody running this store. They was just in here just clapping. Oh yeah, she said yeah. Okay. Just a crowd. So Chris got a new girlfriend, y'all. Him and Desiree are are officially booed up. She got sweat all on her face. Chris gonna go to practice, so him having sweat on his face is cool. Ooh, my girl Lauren getting dog so bad. I hate it. I hate it. I really do. I hate it. She getting dog so bad. Okay, so to give you an idea of like kind of how Chris is um, achieving, like getting ready for his game. So he is in at practice right now. And these are the options. He can leave early, practice hard, practice kicking drills, practice normally, which is what he's doing. Practice passing or relax on the bench. I'm going to have him practice kicking drills right now. Then I'm going to check on the rest of the roommates and make sure they're doing their university work. Girl, no. No. Oh, wait. Is it outstanding? Hold up. It said it was outstanding. Let me see. She's walking so goddamn fast. I couldn't read. <laughs> um, Turn paper. Yes, yeah, outstanding. Let's submit this turn paper. And then Jabari. Oh, Tahitia. Hey, just wanted to let you know you mean a lot to me and you're very sexy. Oh, that's so sweet. This is the girl that he likes. I feel like he should call her over. This is the only girl that he likes. Wow, Chris is a whore and he's pretty much smashing everybody. I want to say I seen Jabari like smash one other girl and I can't even remember who the girl was. But he is nothing like Chris. Like he don't just be fucking. And, he, and I feel like he could if he wanted to. Oh, smooth apology. Oh, he needs to apologize to her about what? What did you do? Let me see this, if there's a sentiment. No, it's not one. She's a podcast host. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. Keep Lauren. 
Oh, she forgave him. Oh my god. He should ask her to be his girlfriend. I think he should be that. Court her. Oh yeah, because she's a proper sim. Alright, and then Keon. Did you? Oh, can you pay the bills, Keon? My bad. That's one thing I need somebody to do. Damn, that bill's expensive. So he's asking her to be his girlfriend. Uh, Yaffa. <laughs> okay, oh, and she said yeah. Jeez. Oh, that's so sweet. Who lives? <laughs> yeah, you can go to work. That's cool. Okay, so Tahiti is dating Jabari officially. That's so sweet. He likes her. He really likes her a lot. So I get it. This is so sweet. The guy's in the house is faithful to his girl. Faithful-ish to his girlfriend. Oh, no. No. Okay, wait. This was wholesome and then it turned into not. Damn, Tahiti got a body on her though. Jesus Christ. No. I get it. I get it, Jabari. No, I get it. I get it. Can you not fuck right here? Come on. I need y'all to stop. Let me take them somewhere else in the house. Oh, Chris is back. Oh my God, Chris, are you okay? Is he sleeping in the tub? Uh, let me check on Chris. Chris, are you okay? I mean, he's bathing because probably he stinks, but oh, his energy is just low. <laughs> Keon done hit Jaleesa before, so you know it makes sense. Where are they going though? Bathtub. Oh, uh, not the dirty bathroom, no. No. <laughs> the bathroom is icky. Oh, look at them, y'all. Look at them. The frat house is turned up. You come to the frat house, you everybody fucking. Yeah, I, I just yeah. Keon and Jaleesa down here doing that. Jabari and Tahiti up here doing this. They still got their clothes on though, so that's cool. Oh, they so cute. They are so cute together. They're so adorable. Nah, I love them together. <laughs> Jabari and Tahiti are my favorite couple, y'all. I decided. I decided. Tahiti in his shower. Not Tahiti. Um, Jaleesa in his shower. <sighs> People always in his shower. I gotta lock his door back. He don't care, though. Chris don't ever be giving a damn. This episode, I do want to spend a little bit more time focusing on the university living and kind of like university goals specifically. So we'll be playing a little bit more exclusively with Lauren just for this episode um, because Lauren does have the current life aspiration in academics. Um, she is, let me open it up. So if you're not familiar with this aspiration, it is the academic bright eyed student. It's for the sim, this the sim wants to attend university and get a job but most importantly learn so this is pretty much like a learning aspiration and the reward trait for it is higher education the sim has proven this sim has proven they have what it takes to excel at university along the way they learned a lot allowing them to give more skill to gain more skill using the magnetic research archive machine and earn more money from publishing research papers and contributing knowledge. So Lauren, just generally, she's going to be working through her academics. And so she is on the second level of this, um, which she needs to complete a, she needs to achieve level five research and debate skill, which she's already done. She needs to attend three guest lectures and she's only attended one out of the three. And she needs to finish a course with a grade of A. So we're gonna do that. Um, another thing about the university game pack, it's getting kind of late here, um, is that there's like a ton of like hidden stuff that happens in Brightchester if you are on campus and spending time around it. So we're gonna try to just find some of the hidden stuff and do some like really exclusive um, university play. Lauren is over here doing push-ups, y'all. And one, and two, and three are her manicure. 
<laughs> Over here doing push-ups. Girl, stand up. Her buffs are as follows. Energized from lingering energy from becoming energized. Happy, feeling great from high needs. Fun. Oh, no, fine. No more mood swings. Oh, she took a chill pill. And she feels fine. She's taking care of her hygiene. You feel me? Lauren, so we're on campus. Um... Let's throw a party. Let's throw a dorm party. That sounds like a good time. Let's see, plan the event. I think we got the. Oh wait, hold on. Tutor. Oh, be checked in. Okay, so we're supposed to be here. That's crazy. I forgot that I um traveled to a dorm. I'll put the walls up. We'll put the keg. We got a keg, right? Yeah, we got the keg. We'll put the keg right here in the middle. But let's get a party cracking. Let's go. Let's turn up the dorm, y'all. Let's turn up the dorm. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what the party queen can do on this Uchina Thursday night. Not her holding two phones. Not play. two phone, Lauren. Cheshire. <laughs> All right. So we're going to throw, we're going to do a keg party. All right. Let's go ahead and pop the keg. It's about to get lit in here real fast. I don't know if people that live here are ready for that, but <laughs> it's going to get tizzy in this bit. Not Lauren drinking. Hold on, where's she at? She already drinking Hennessy. Look at that. Lauren got the hand on her. We got the hand bottles at the at the sorority house, but we doing a we're doing a dorm party tonight. So. so we are at the dorms. Oh look who it is. Okay. People are coming in. Damn, that's thick. Where everybody going? In the bathroom? I'm gonna get everybody faded though. Once everybody get up in here, you know Lauren, the turn up queen, gonna get everybody faded. Damn. Okay, we can't get doing no clothes gathering. Gather. Look at DeAndre. So I don't know if y'all peeped, but oh, there go Mike. Oh, I wonder if we can buy some drugs from Mike. Let's see if we can buy some from him. It's funny to me. It's gonna always be funny to me how whenever Lauren is throwing a party, Chris is always. Oh wait, finish an entire beer keg. We've already done that. Are we serious? We need another keg. It do say replace keg. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyway, Crispy on his best behavior. So I am going to try to get Lauren to get some drugs from him, but I don't know. I don't even know if my basement tool is working right now. That's funny. Because it looked like Chris is following her. I thought he was in here with somebody else, but okay. <laughs> Whose room is this? Stay in somebody's dorm room. I want to know what they're talking about. Oh, man. You bosa. <laughs> we in the bathroom talking to whomever. Like what? Let's do a keg stand. I'll replace keg. Let's do a porter. I look at night and walk right up. So what's so interesting is that Lana is at this party. If y'all don't know, Chris is Lana's sneaky link. So if y'all seen. Y'all seen them. Y'all have seen them sneaky leak before. But Lana don't like to really claim him in public. <gasps> Lauren is attracted to Kyrie? Girl. Wow, Lauren, you you like everybody. You like everybody. Let's fill the cups and then let's do a keg stand. <sighs> what? Chris and Anaya are still in here talking, y'all. They've been talking for a minute. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if Chris is really about to try it. Are they flirty? I'm not controlling either one of these sims, so I don't really know what's going on here. It looks flirty, though. Okay, so Lauren's buff right now. She's feeling very confident. Confident the legendary drink is drunk <laughs> by the real cream of society from Cognac. Yep. Uh, confident amongst friends. Confidence boost. She's tapped from successfully tapping a beer keg. She is happy from all the friends, from people, person, lifestyle. She is happy from feeling great. Happy, tasty beverage. Happy amongst Sims from being a social group, from being in a social group with at least three Sims. She is a, she saw a breathtaking encounter and she did a keg stand. She said energized from kegs, dude. <laughs> Standing on business. Okay, where'd she go? I'm surprised. They just in here talking though. 
I don't know, cause it's. I feel like it's getting kind of steamy. Did he text her? Nah, they're flirting. They're flirting. One hundred percent, they're flirting. And my thought here is that Chris got up and left before it got too serious. That's what I think is going on, cause he definitely was just flirting with Anaya. Why is Lauren crying? Gorge oh, is he being mean to me? <laughs> there isn't anything crazy happening. People are drinking beer. They're hanging out. They're talking. It's 5.38 in the morning, but it's Friday morning. Oh, it's Friday. Oh, you know what? Let's end this party. <laughs> Let's put our keg back in our inventory. Oh, they're doing a keg stand. One final keg stand. Oh, he fell. Oh. That's so sweet. Nisa Faba Tomono Pa. Flirt. Saka Yala Nim. Knock my joke. Let's be funny. Oh, look how the romance bar is down. Wait, what happened? Let's look at Sentiment with Chris. Let's see. Lauren, Christopher is impressed with Lauren, but nothing else has happened between them. So he don't think Lauren is that funny. <laughs> what do he say? Oh, oh my God! I did not tell them to do all of this. They just on that. I'm just trying to see what they gonna do. They on a very flirty exchange. That's Karenzi. Who passed out? Somebody did. I heard it. Oh, dang. Let's see. Okay, so. Oh, their bar is going back up. So Lauren sits me by Chris as they feel deeply connected. And Chris feels impressed and deeply connected to Lauren. Okay, so it is 8 o'clock on a Friday morning. And let's see what's going on. Um, Lauren does have to do her lectures. Yeah, we got to wait for the lectures to be open. Which I think they should be. Oh, it started at 5. Okay, let us... Let's clean up the statue. Lauren is feeling very confident. We had a great party last night. Okay, Chris, why is Chris still here? The fall of for Doy. Oh my God, Christopher. <laughs> this man is smoking. Like, you know what? Whatever. And we're going to go to the student union because I have work to do for my scholarship. We're on campus right now and I just heard, let's see. I heard some fireworks. Oh, they're over there. Okay, why are there fireworks? Let's find out. It's Friday. I know it's game day, but the game doesn't start till like way, way later. Oh, somebody is doing poetry. She's doing spoken word to herself. <laughs> Lauren's using the computer. And Lauren's contributing her knowledge to the World Wide Web. Oh, we got paid six hundred and ten dollars for our contributions. Oh, wow. Okay. So, in the spirit of being on campus and doing on campus things, finna grow. Did you see that rookie who was starting for the llamas? Now, I think he could take the team all the way this year. Dwayne, leave us alone. I think Giovanni is still in school. Billy Jane. Hey, I heard you became friends with Mike Simmons. Did we become friends with Mike Simmons? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know we know him, but he should do no, yeah. Lauren Barrage. I don't know. Lauren, can you see? La la la. I don't know. When is the pep rally happening? That's what we need to wait for. Wait for the pep rally to pop off. I think it's important because Lauren is studying drama. She's gonna have to know how to sing. Should we get Lauren some drip? For University Apparel. Is it five yet? We gotta wait for it to be five so we can go do a guest lecture. Claire is knocked out. Yeah, look who is in the union. Chris. And he brought his laptop. He normally don't be in the union. Or do he? Study for... Is she on the spirit squad? Was she on the spirit squad? Yeah, let's try. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna try to get Lauren to be a part of... Ask to join Brightchester's spirit corpse. Oh, where Chris go? Oh, he moved down. Then he moved. 
Look, I'm not gonna be sitting in front of Lauren. She's a distraction. Okay, so it's official. Lauren is now a member of the Brightchester Spirit Squad. She has been given official Brightchester Spirit Squad organization t-shirts and posters as welcome gifts. Boop! 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 Merkel Zira? Oh! Yekla! Finnuza! What time does the pep rally start? It's the keg tap. Oh, yeah. Boy, Zarb's canoe. Zons. Oh, wait, look, it's, um, they're doing the, the fireworks. The game. Okay, look at sis. Is that, is that Jaleesa? It looked like Jaleesa, because body. Barovi sends it. Gorge Bariki. We spray him with some sticky spray. Sucks to suck, but. We go to the games all the time. Hey, Lauren. Okay. Gotta get good, my girl. Yay. Bright chest, I got one point. Girl. Did she cry? <laughs> Alright, Lauren. Oh, she missed it. Ah, yibs. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lauren, come on, bro. They they on your shit. Shibi. Look, they on you. You gotta do a comeback. Why are you gonna be drunk? Oh my God, Lauren, you suck. Why are you so bad at beer pong, bro? I don't understand. You suck at beer pong. Like, they're super good and you are trash. You gotta make this one, Lauren. There we go. Whew. You was going out sad, my girl. Oh, wow, it's trash. Okay, let's try to get into the game real quick. Let's see who wins the game. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Before we find that out, hot daydreaming. Lauren's head remembers Keon Johnson fondly as memories of him begin to populate her mind. The task at hand is just an afterthought as qualities of Keon manifest themselves as strong echoes that bring Lauren intense amounts of joy. Their encounter last time was too brief and now Lauren is thirsty for more? It was brief. They did have that little ass kiss at the burger bar. Yeah. When the chance to meet with Keon arrives, it will not have come soon enough. Seems like these should be cherished. There aren't that many of them out there. And it was a stroke of good luck or even a miracle that allowed Lauren to meet one that ticked off so many of her wishes and desires. <sighs> Lauren is y'all. Lauren Power is still... As she has been for years, crushing on Keon. Like, she is crushing on him so tough. Let me open his panel up real quick. Yeah, I mean, she still thinks he's super attractive. She feels like they're lovebirds. Like, Keon is impressed with Lauren. Like, he likes her too. But she is, like I said at the beginning of this series, Lauren has liked him for so long. Like, she has simultaneously dated Chris and liked Keon forever like she knows no bound between these two people like she's always just like these same two people a little turn up we'll do something that intimate at great. the house we'll go back to the sorority house <laughs> yes. uh. or should we let's go to the frat house let's do a um because they already got a keg well we got kegs everywhere but let's just do a house party they have the dj that'll be better now i'm gonna be super honest I think, oh, their house is dirty. Hold up. They all had the little stinky trait. Okay, so we are at frat side, y'all. And y'all know this is where the athletes stay. This is where Chris and squad stay. We're, ho we're hosting the after party to the soccer game. And we want to see what's up. Let's see where all the guys are. Okay, Chris isn't here. Jaleesa isn't here. All I see is Jabari Keon, who's right there, and and Jason. That's it. 
I got a caterer. Please, nobody burn nothing down. We got a bartender. They they tap in the keg. I'll put another keg outside. If I can put my keg out here, that'd be great. Chris did show up. He's here. Oh, they all shocked because I got um, Lauren's sister to do the bartending, which is Jordan Power. So I want to have her come over here and talk to her. Oh, Chris is live. I forgot Chris has always been a fan of Jordan Power. He loves her. Finally, the DJ popped up. Okay. Clara, she been tired all day. She ain't had no sleep. No sleep there, girl. Who cares? Alright, Lauren is getting Jordan to make a book. Like, they just look like sisters. They really look alike. All right. Okay. Cool. We gotta go level party. It's one fifty four in the morning. So Jordan has Chris just out of body, y'all. Look how Chris. Lauren, introduce Jordan to Chris, please, because he is he is faint out. Hold on, let me do it. It's um friendly gossip. Other Sims talk up another Sim. Talk up Chris. I'm surprised this party is doing so good. Wow, I love to get to know him. Okay. Oh, I knew it. It's Jaleesa, y'all. Jaleesa is smashing somebody. Where is she smashing? Is it in the tub? Please tell me. Girl, look at this, y'all. Look at look look what's going on up here. This is um. Let me see, hold on. Seth Hood and Jaleesa. Jaleesa, she might be just as bad as Chris. She be getting it in. She be getting it in. She might be just as bad as Chris. Just as bad. Oh, okay, Jordan thought Christopher was great. That's good, because Chris was thirsty to meet her. It's 2.56 in the morning. Let me release this group real quick. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh my god. Are we getting kicked out? Cause you tried to cook again, girl. Now I don't blame Jabari for wanting to kick them out. They had two fires at their last party. I would kick them out too. Get out of here. Look how dirty she is, girl. All of y'all go home. Okay, is this cake burnt? What kind of cake? Oh, it's a confetti cake. <gasps> y'all, y'all, I'm weak. I am weak. <laughs> I'm weak. Look at Jaleesa getting slutted out, y'all. Slutted. I was like, what is that clapping noise? What is that clapping noise? And lo and behold, she getting them cheeks clizzy. Uh, oh my God. What's going on upstairs? Can we see anything else? Everybody else being good? Ain't no other action going on. Jabari ain't getting no action. I see that. Lauren is just in the house eating cake. I told her to go home though. No, she just ain't went. <laughs> okay, she leaving now. Is Are they still up here? Oh no, they just finished. <laughs> they was getting it in. So I do think this is a good place to conclude the episode. If you like the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment if you have a comment, and I will see y'all in the next one.